Okay, so today's um, subject in the Real Friction talk show was concerts and the dislikes of concerts, which is mainly my me complaining about people standing there and um, how I hate it that they can't even rock side to side like they're fucking super glued to the floor. For real? I mean, they're like stuck on there just like ooh let me stare them down maybe they'll notice me <clears throat> it's like uh, it, right it's like it, it, I don't know I, I I just don't see the point in people going to a concert and just standing there you know <clears throat> I don't see the point in it if you're gonna do that, you could do it every other day. Just put, just, you know, like, put on, like, <clears throat> I don't know, like, <laughs> a concert CD that you have from one of your favorite bands or whatever. And just sit there and watch it. You know, I mean, DVD and just sit there and watch it. Or put, like, a CD yeah, in your... Um, Gray actually has their own little concert DVD, too. So. I know, I, I have it. I have, I have it and it's like you know even then I have to I can't stop moving you know I, I get that that much out of their concert you know and I don't understand how people could just stand there in the middle of the way looking like a bunch of trees or something you know they're just there like a hole you know it's like ugh <clears throat> And it did make it worse, most of the time they're kind of tall. And I'm 5'2", so anything over 5'2 is tall, okay? <laughs> Actually, I'm 5'1 and a half, but I like to say I'm 5'2". <laughs> and, you know, it's just like, ugh. I mean, I understand if you're gonna stand there, but even then, like, you know, for a sad song, I would at least, you know, think about swaying, you know? Showing them that you're not just a fucking zombie, stay oh. Oh, my favorite band. You know? You know, I, like, I like to show them that I'm alive. I'm there to see them. I want to see them. I'm so excited to see them, you know? Yeah. Not just... You know, in every concert I've been to, I've been standing next to a tall person. I know. And I used to laugh at you, but, you know, you actually sway. You do something, at least, you know? And when the and when the band like starts to like you know getting everyone into something like clapping, you clap. Or like when they tell us to do a certain move, you move too, you know. Yeah. You you yeah, make. <laughs> yeah, like when we went to Quaff and they had us do all that crazy stuff. You know, and I'm 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 proud of you because you know you we were in the front we were like in the very front. And we were, and we were, yeah, I mean, I didn't stand still with crap, and I wasn't in anyone's way, I'm like, what, five, one and a half, who was I gonna stand in front of, a four, nine person? <laughs> Even then, I'm moving enough for you to see through my, through me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if you jumped, people would still see over you. Shut up. <laughs> I only get like a couple inches off the floor, I guess. No, and I, I noticed then in that concert that how happy they were that I was moving so much compared to a lot of people. Cause remember when they were messy, like when one of them like was messy with my hair. Cause there was that there was this one song, and I was headbanging to it. I loved it. I was enjoying myself. And he and one of the guys, um, like after I was done headbanging and was trying to fix my hair. He messed with it, he just went woo, woo, woo. I was like, oh, I just fixed it, you know? <laughs> you know, and I was, like, I was singing along to one song and they put the mic to my face and I was like, ah, and I freaked out. Remember that? <laughs> that was embarrassing. I was like, I was so happy singing along with this big ass smile on my face. Put the mic to, to me to sing the lyric and I freaked out and just kind of dodged it. I was like, ah. You know, they, I could tell they were really happy with me moving around, you know? 
And the girl next to me, there's this really cute black girl standing next to me. Not cute as in I found her attractive, but she was adorable looking. With her little mini fro, she was so cute. Standing next to me, and when she started noticing how, like, I guess my energy just kind of, like, ref like she started reflecting it. She started getting all excited. We were dancing with each other, you know. It, it was fun, the energy. And being up front, and I, I love to be in front because I love to show them, hey, I'm here to enjoy your music. You know, you don't have to be afraid that they, uh, about like, oh, are they gonna like it? Uh, why are they standing there? Do they not like it and stuff like that? You know, and it's just like that. And like it was, I think it was even before then. I noticed that they enjoy it when people are moving. Cause when you watch concerts like on YouTube or or like that stuff that you buy, and you see like when they they usually look the happiest when everyone's moving. You notice that? They even get so happy they cry because people are enjoying them so much. And you know, and I don't think standing there gawking at them is enjoying. You know. Like you, could, you could do that any day, like waiting for the bus if you live in the city or, or something like that. You know, and you could just stand there with your headphones on, looking at a picture of them. You know, you don't have to go stand in someone's way in a concert and just stand there and stare. You know, show them that you're there for them. At least sway. At least do some kind of hand movement. I mean, I know people, a lot of people get on to people for not being Japanese and doing all that hand movement, right? But, you know, in the long run, as long as you show them some kind of support, some kind of, you know, emotion that's not just looking like you're bored, I think they'd be happy with it. And I don't think people should say anything to people who do like the little what hand movement. Kind of <laughs> I don't know. I think the Japanese do it better just because they usually do it united, you know? Like as a unit in America, you see like... They're only the people in the front row are doing it. And the Gakito? Uh, the concert. Oh yeah, and D, I was in the back doing it too after I left because those people were pushing me around. After I moved to the back, I was doing the hand movements and everything. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. <laughs> I'll enjoy them from back here. And, um... But like, in the Gakito one, I noticed there's these two girls doing hand movements. I thought it was cute because these were like the hand movements I see most often when it comes to the Gazette. Because honestly, I don't know if you've noticed, but I watch a lot of concerts I don't do anymore because I get too excited. <laughs> but, um, and there's certain hand movements they do for certain bands, you notice that? Yeah, like, um, you know the Alice 9 one? The one where they do like this really long, like, like where they open their arms, like their arms out, you know? Yeah. You, you know that movement? I think you're the one who told me about it. I can't remember who told me about it. If it was you or Shinya. But they, um, they told me that the, or was it, uh, I think it was an interview, I can't remember. But that Alice 9 was saying that these, the, their first, um, fans from when they started, would do that hand movement to show them, like, to make it look like the place was full, you know? Oh, yeah, I told you about that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and I thought that was really cute and nice. That they would do that to, that, you know, they would tr try to make them... Yeah. To, yeah, to make it look like there were more people. And I thought that was, like, the sweetest thing anyone could ever do for a band. To show them their, their support, you know? You know, it's like, you know, they, they just started off, you think they're good, not a lot of people are there yet, and you do this hand movement to show them that it, that we're here and, and, like, you know, there's so much more and everything. You know, it's just, it's awesome to me. And I think that's wonderful. And, and yeah. <laughs> 